Sean, we're hearing rain at the station right now. Kind of serves as a reminder that severe weather could be right around the yeah. corner. We're not far off, Stacy. We have Severe Weather Awareness Week this week, and this is a very important week because, uh, believe it or not, we are all, we're already at severe weather season. We have had severe weather at this point in the year, uh, in years past, and so now is the time to get prepared. And I know you're probably going to get blasted with a lot of uh, information about severe weather this week, but it's really quite simple, and it comes down to one basic concept, and that is just be prepared. That's all you have to do, and this is the time to do it. Because when severe storms strike, they come in a hurry, and when you hear the tornado siren go off, that's not the time to be, you know, Googling, where do I go when there's a tornado? It's now. So here are some things you can do. First of all, just check the weather on the daily. Every morning, look to see if there is a severe weather threat. You're going to find it on our KEYC First Alert weather app or anywhere else you check. Uh, so check. And if there is severe weather potential that day, check the weather more often throughout the day. Number two, have a good way to get warnings and alerts. The First Alert weather app is a good way. A NOAA weather radio is great, especially because those will uh, let out a squeal that wakes the dead in the middle of the night, and that'll really help you out. So a weather radio is good. It's important to note that sirens are only meant for people that are outdoors. Don't rely on sirens alone because if it's raining hard or even hailing a little bit, you might not be able to hear it. Have another way to get alerts. Know where your safe place is. The basement, the uh, lowest level of your home in an interior room. It's more complicated with mobile homes. You've got to get out of a mobile home and you have to do some advanced work to figure out where your shelter is. Uh, make sure your kids and families know where to go. And if you have any questions, if you do some research you still don't know, send us an email. I'll get back to you or somebody on the weather team will let you know because we want you to be comfortable with severe weather because it can be scary. And throughout the week, we're going to have more information on some of these little points here and uh, kind of fill you in on what's going on. I do want to mention the uh, test tornado drill Thursday, 1.45 and 6.45 p.m. Sirens will likely go off all across the region. So something to keep in mind. Oh, and go to KEYC.com, our blog, the weather blog. I have a whole little write-up there with more information for you as well. Take a look at this. You see that we do have a few scattered showers. Not really thunder, but there could be an isolated thunder shower that pops up. Some rain moving into Mankato. Now we're at 65 hundredths of an inch here at the TV station. We do have a little line of showers, too, here to the west by Sleepy Eye and St. James. See that rain coming down? It's 51 and mostly cloudy. The wind is out of the southwest at 12. Generally, 40s and 50s here all across southern Minnesota, northern Iowa. This front pushing through is going to get these showers out of here. We're going to clear out tomorrow. We're going to gradually warm up through the week. One more system will bring some showers and some wind and slightly cooler temperatures on Thursday. Other than that, we're going to go a little crazy with temperatures this week. 38 tonight, some evening rain, then mostly cloudy. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, 62. And as we take you to Wednesday, 68. Thursday, it's going to be blustery, colder, 56 with some showers. Get ready for this. 60s to 70s by the weekend. We're talking mid-70s, even upper 70s to our south by Saturday, Sunday into Monday. Stacy Dion, looking good, huh? I bet you that made you smile. <laughs> I know, 70s, can't top that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sean. Well, tonight at 10, how people across the country took in the last total eclipse in America in a generation. Plus, hundreds of thousands of Americans tear the ACL every year. Now, a new type of ACL repair is being touted as a more natural and less painful way than traditional surgery. Join us for those stories and more tonight at 10. We'll be right back. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.